Good morning. Hope you all are staying red. It's time for Music Notes with Nina. So, I'm starting at the beginning. I'm going to the end. This is just on what we've touched on over the last couple of days. It's obviously not including everything. This is really mostly just on what I have heard between Sunday and Monday and what I remember from last week that I haven't mentioned yet. Um, parents, this is just a quick note from Jay and Miracle that we talked about last night. After, might she be a little brighter than her class? Oh, yes, she's definitely advanced on that. You're supposed to back up immediately into some sort of circle. Um, so please remember that. Um, miracle, those of you that implemented the miracle instead of miracle note, that was so much better. Thank you. Miracle makes a big difference. Uh, Reagan, Gianna, Caden, Bunny, Sophia, Cora, Jovi. This is another note from Jay that we talked out last night. Um, and I think that each of us put this in our notes a week ago as well. At the end, when you say hup, Two, four, three. You need to stick your head out the curtain. So if you're out off stage, hop, two, four, three. Off stage, head out the curtain. Okay, thank you. Um, Matilda's in Acrobat Story 1. Just make sure that you're listening to those music changes. The other ones, we do a pretty good job of recognizing them, but I feel like in Acrobat Story 1, we're just kind of like, and now we're saying the whole thing. Um, so be careful there, please. Uh, Donovan and Maddie in the We Have Everythings in Acrobat Story 1. And really also, um, and anytime when you guys like sing like together, not, you know, the big stuff that Donovan's doing later, but just like the acrobat and escapologist stuff where you're together, I would love more energy behind those consonants, behind those notes, behind that volume. Like, we have everything, but it actually, it's like, we have everything. And I get that, like, you're trying to sing sad because they're a little bit depressed about the fact that they're in the circus, but they don't have a child. Um, what it sounds like is that they're singing, like, we have nothing and this whole thing sucks. Um, so you need to energize those, um, the, the consonants and overdo it. It's, it's a story, right? We have everything. Okay. Way less reserved, please. Try that tonight. Um, school song. Some of us need to check the counting. Um, I would like some feedback on the monitors. There's monitors, um, uh, right in front of the stage on the stage left side. And then there's also monitors in the first wing. I did move them in closer. So hopefully everybody can hear them better. But I'm trying to figure out right now if some of the counting issues are counting issues or because we can't hear the monitor. We can fix it either way. Um, but especially at the beginning of school song in the big kid solo. And so you think you're able to survive this mess by being a prince or a princess. You will see and see. There's no escaping tragedy. We're just really like going straight through those rests, okay? Because I know it's super frantic, but we actually do need to observe them, okay? So that way it stays really on. Um, also, when we get to I have suffered in this jail, there's no harmony there. I'm hearing a lovely harmony on I, but it, it doesn't exist, okay? Um, it does, however, come in at Curious, which you guys are doing a great job at. Um, doo -doo -doo. Oh, the Ys, they're incredible. Thank you so much for doing these harmonies on the Ys. I could use even more harmony if we're like, um, I'm hearing a lot of the top note, one of the bottom notes. I can't tell if it's the bottom or the middle, um, but if a couple of you could just jump down to one of the harmony notes as well that you're already doing, that would be awesome. Thank you. Um, also, here's the timing on the Ys. Um, and if you cry, it will be double. You should stay out of trouble and remember to be extremely careful. Why? Why off? Three, four, one. Did you hear what I said? And but, but just you wait. So right now, uh, some of us are holding it over and we're not all coming in at the right spot. Extremely careful. The chord, Jovi says, why? Which, Jovi, it's one, two, three. Why? Technically, that's the way they write it. It's, Chord, two, three, why, why, but you could do it on three or four, one, two, why, why, okay, um, just as long as we realize that Jovi's measure, Nigel's measure, um, and whoever else has a why somewhere, that is a four, four measure, and then when we say our why in response, that is the downbeat of another four, four measure, extremely careful, why, why, 
Okay, hopefully that makes sense. Um, so just tight, that would just tighten it up a little bit. Um, the harmony on Y, it's only one beat on the Y. Kaden, I heard you sing. My daddy said I would be the teacher's pet, but I didn't see you. Are you on stage for that? Um, cause I can reassign that to somebody that is on stage if you're not. Um, so just see me to clarify, please. Cause I could have just missed you. Um, we already went over this, but it's L, not L. Um, this living L. Okay. It's just cutesy. No H sound. Um, the hammer. It sounds incredible. Okay. More big kid voices, less little kid voices. And I know the little kids are in the front, right? But, uh, but so little kids, a little bit less. If you want to throw the hammer, instead of, if you want to throw the hat, which is great, except for the fact that the big kids behind you have an amazing counter melody. And that's what I would like to bring out, okay? Less littles, more bigs that are behind, okay? Uh, because it's fitting together super well. Uh, I just can't hear it super well. Um, and I think that will make a difference because we are far enough downstage for all those downstage mics to pick us up. Not a big deal. Um, mm, jokey chant. Um, so as I said yesterday, it's just going to stay at that slow tempo and we're just going to have to make our peace with it. Um, but I wanted to clarify that the order of the music here, Nigel will say, they're saying she's going to put me in jokey. And then there's two big chords. Bam, bam. Matilda says, what's choky? And then while Nigel is describing it, you're going to hear this. Bum, bum. And again, bum, 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 bum. The fourth time, and then we go on. There's a place, okay? So after this big chord, and then Matilda says, what's choky? The repeated measure, you will hear it four times, and then it goes on. Um, harmony is good in that, by the way, that octave. Remember, it's not, we're not hearing two different notes. The harmony is just an octave above. Uh, and it sounds really good. So if you are up on the higher, keep it up. Um, okay, uh, big kids, big kids, uh, loud. We did talk about this yesterday. You're going to do us a solid. You're going to sing in loud just to give a little more support to the adults on stage. Um, that's going to start at letter A if you are, if you have music um but it's right after mrs wormwood will sing you have got to be loud you'll hear four drum clicks bum, 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 loud um and bethany is gonna meet you stage right before this song she's gonna guide you in this you're all gonna stand around a microphone that is stage right and she's gonna hook you up okay um just look at the words and then you'll figure out what some notes are supposed to be. I will listen to it tonight. If it sounds super weird, then we'll take time to like really hammer it out. But uh, right now, those of you that do read music or have a decent ear, I want you to help guide this as well, okay? So um, if you can figure out what some of those harmony notes would be on things like flat, heel, fact, feel, that's measures 42 through 49, what I'm looking at. Um, otherwise, it's pretty self-explanatory on loud, loud, loud. Um, Bethany will help divide you up onto a group one and two and three there. Loud, loud, loud. Okay, so I don't want anybody to panic on that. Okay, this is going to be super fun. This is like the funnest song in the show. And now you get to sing it off stage. Um, all right, moving on. Mm, Kamaya, on what sort of teacher would I be? And what sort of teacher would I be? And you are doing, and what sort of teacher would I be? Which like fits, it's fine. But if you're, if you're wondering, like, does that sound a little weird? And what sort of teacher would I be? So the of teach B is all the same. Would I be? It's only a whole step down between I and B. I'm not losing sleep over it. I just wanted to make you aware. Um, also the outside at the end and another door closes and Jenny's outside. That note in particular has a really big tendency to go flat. And I noticed yesterday that your jaw was really not dropped at all when you were singing it. I think you, if you open up a little more, that will help. And Jenny's outside. That just gives the space, a, like the, the note, a little more space to grow. 
Um, so that note in particular is ending a little bit flat, and I think you could just open up more and it would be fixed. Um, Matilda's story, Acrobat story two. Oh, yes, please remember, we're waiting after. It was like the entire world gathered to see, okay? So you have to wait for that little theme before you move on, or else we are going to have a lot of extra music. Um, everybody on Bruce, when we're like, B-R-O-O-C-E. Make sure that you're holding your entrance note um, the entire time. Because remember, we're building it. Um, B-R-O-O-C-E. If you like start on the B, like you're not, you don't just say B and then move on, right? Um, also, B-R-O-O-C-E. Okay, I'm going to demonstrate a different one. B-R-O-O-C-E. Bruce. Okay, do you see what I'm doing? B-R-O-O-C-E, Bruce. I'm, as soon as we hit the E, we're backing off and then pushing the sound forward. It's called a sforzando, and it is an incredible musical tactic, but we all have to do it for it to sound cool. Otherwise, it's just going to be weird. B-R-O-O-C-E. And notice when I say the E, it's not E. E, okay. B R O O C E. Oh, don't don't do that. Where I just like woo. Don't do that. B R O O C E. Okay, you got at least a little space in your mouth, and use the diaphragm there to bring it back in and push it forward. Okay, um, sforzando on that measure in Bruce. That's one like really cool thing that we can add just to pump everything up. Um, those lyrics that I corrected on Bruce the other day in my last notes were a lot better this last time. Um, so thank you, thank you, thank you for doing that. Um, if you are singing the harmony at the end, so we get there and we're like, ah, if you are, ah, 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 I know this is the wrong key, ah, or it might just be the wrong octave, uh, 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 that part I need more of, okay? It was so beautiful before, and now it's a lot of melody. So if you are a harmony person, recommit yourself to that harmony. If you're not a harmony person, you're like, yeah, I could probably sing the harmony, do it. Um, okay, moving on to act two. Yay, uh, Josh, this is a note from Jay that I was supposed to mention to you on Thursday and I forgot. At the very end of All I Know, and you're like, All I Know, I Learned From Tally. Point at the audience. They'll say it with you if you point at them. They need validation and support to know that that's what they're supposed to do. Otherwise, if you just keep your hands up here, they, they might not. All I Know, I Learned From Tally. The bigger the... The smarter the man, you can tell from my big tally. Okay, point every time. Um, and people off stage, you have to say tally too to like let the audience know it's okay. Um, okay, Josh, another note for you. Uh, there's only two bars before I'm so clever, and it's not maybe on like the recording, it might be like they just wait for him, but I don't think that we need that much time. So if you hear the music, I'm so clever, I'm so clever, I'm so very, 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 and yes, I am trying to find it really fast before I move on and tell you this. No, but I haven't found it yet. I'm so sorry. Um, anyway, there's only two bars. And then you have to come in. If you miss that entrance, do not like circle back and sing all of those words again. Just enter, dance with Amber until she says stop and move on. Okay. So if you miss it, not the end of the world, but like just come in like in the middle of it, you know, like very, 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 like don't restart at the beginning, regardless of where the music is. You know what I'm saying? Um, <sighs> smell of rebellion. Okay. Don't forget. It hurts. I can't, but miss no more. And yes, I am going to clarify who that is. It hurts. I have uh, Bunny and Reagan. I can't. Cora and Johnny. But miss. Uh, 
Jovi and Sophia. And on No More, I've added Madison Tidwell and Evan um, to that. So it will be, it hurts. I can't, but miss, no more. Don't forget where that is, okay? Just coming in, the Pong of Descent, the Funk of Mutiny in Action. It hurts, I can't, but miss, no more. And you will probably hear Matilda and Miss Honey right after that or right over top of it. Mutiny in Action, but that's not right. Don't get, don't panic, okay? It's like three things happening at once, okay? And remember, it is fast. Um, okay, littles and bigs, revolting children, please take a big old breath before the key change, okay? Because the key change is getting higher. We've been dancing for longer. So when we're going into the climax of the song, our bodies and our voices are like, decreasing they're like we are revolting children we get it you have to take a big breath before that key change it's right after um it is too late for you e are revolting big breath we are revolting children do not give up by the time you get to that point okay big old belly breath and then move on. Also, right after that, when we've got the big kids going, we are E-V-O-L-T-I-N, and the little kids are doing, we are revolting children living in. Right now, it sounds a little muddy. It does not sound like two cool counterparts with a bruise desk can't over top. It sounds like they just, everybody is just picking uh, some form of the word revolting to kind of say, okay? It's like a mush up rather than a mash up. Uh, so make sure that you're super crisp there at the end. And little kids, you know, we are revolting children. Big kids, you know, we are E-V-O-L-T-I-N. Okay, and Bruce, never again will she get the best of me. Okay, so everybody has to be super confident and crisp there. So it no so the audience knows we're doing three different things on purpose and not because we, you know, passed out at the key change and this is the best that our brains can do, right? Um, all right, that is the end of my music notes. Um, if you watched to this point, thank you. Congratulations. See me for a sticker. Bye.